Well, hello traders and investors. Today is Thursday, September 24th. We have finally entered the last week of September. Summer is officially over. The fall has begun. What do I always say? Let's get into it right now. So let me go over the global markets. Stocks are down overnight. Momentum levels are almost near my target. A lot to talk about today. And I'll put, uh, I'll give you two more stocks that are, have entered my chopping block. And I'd love to give you something new, but most of what I've said today is based on what I've previously mentioned. It's all coming to fruition. So let's get into it right now. And also we've got jobless, jobless claims. So global shares were mostly lower Thursday due to broad uncertainty. There's a lot of talk right now. Is the vaccine coming out? Who's going to win the presidential race? Um, are we going to have a vaccine before, before the election or not? Is the stock market going to peter out and, and trade at the 200-day moving average? These are all good questions. So there's a lot of uncertainty. And on top of that, Trump and China are at it again. So there's a lot of friction right now, and the markets don't like friction. The U.S. market players are feeling less optimistic about action from the Federal Reserve because nothing has been done. We're not seeing a package put together. Congress to help the economy amid the distraction of the presidential election and the battle over the Supreme Court seat that's left vacant after Justice Ginsburg passed away. Wall Street experienced more whiplash Wednesday, and right now I'm looking at the overnight market, and we're going to be opening quite a bit lower, wiping out gains from the day before. Apart from worries from the politics and the pandemic, big tech, I have a feeling Warren Buffett is selling some of his Apple shares. It's been in a strong distribution, and Amazon hasn't been faring well either. They've been at a center of recent swings. They soared based on expectations and well beyond their expectations, but are now weakening beyond the market, ex ex beyond the relative strength of the market. They began falling early this month and fears they had grown too expensive. That is a major fear. Johnson & Johnson, on the other hand, began a huge final study to try to prove if a single dose of COVID-19 vaccine can protect against the COVID. Handful of other vaccines are already in the final stage and investors are increasingly expect one to be available. Now it's first three months of 2021. It's getting pushed back and that's causing the market to become nervous again. Part of this week's early stumble for stocks was due to worries about European government imposing tougher restrictions on businesses to slow the spread of COVID-19 because COVID is rearing its ugly head and stay-at-home stocks like Zoom, Peloton, uh, Pin Interest, are route stitch fixed they're rallying again this is what happened in february so there's worry that we're going to have uh, uh travel bans and again with the flu season approaching that we're going to have more trouble ahead due to COVID 19 kind of like a part two now if you look at the jobless claims the actual number came out at 870,000. the expectations were 800 to 905,000. Although the number is better than the four-week moving average, the number is still going down very slowly, very, very slowly. Look, we're still near a million, okay? I mean, 870,000, this is a record, a record. So it looks to me like if we don't get any aid from the Fed, we may be in a bad place for a while. Now, I hate to say I told you so, but... Remember when I drew this, this is around May, and I told you that when we hit, hit momentum levels this high, we're going down. We're now on 20, in the 22nd, 23rd percentile, and I think we're going to have a shakeout right around the 10th percentile, 15th percentile, especially after going all the way up here. So it looks to me like momentum levels are going to weaken some more. That means you should expect for more shakeout from the overall market. If you look at the stock market as a whole, you will see that we're heading towards the 200-day moving average, and the odds are we're going to hit the 200-day moving average. When I showed you the momentum levels, and if you look at the broad market, if you take forget the S&P, that's the large caps. If you look at the broad market, almost 60% of stocks are trading below the 200-day moving average. Only 41% of stocks is trading above the 200-day moving average. So the overall market is already bearish. If you look at the QQQ, you will see that it's also heading down. It looks like it's going to break this low. If it breaks this low, it probably will start hitting towards the 200-day moving average. That means momentum levels 
And let me show you here. This is the NASDAQ now we're looking at. We were looking at the S&P before. Momentum levels on the 200 day are falling down as well. Remember what I showed you? Remember that little hook we had here and I told you we're going to go down? It looks like momentum levels are going to go further down. So on the 200 day line, we're moving lower. On the 50 day line, we're almost there, I think. I think we're gonna be bouncing pretty soon. We're gonna hit maybe, I think we're gonna go down right about here. And then we're gonna be over sold. Let me look at put to call ratio real quick. Yeah, it looks like we got more, more downside. I hate to say it, but that's what I was talking about. Now, in light of all of that, I wanna show you two stocks that I would be selling right now. Vornado Realty Trust, VNO. REITs have not been doing well. And again, looks like we've been congesting, congesting, and congesting. And it looks like now we're breaking this low. And it looks like we're heading towards the low again. And if this breaks the low, we're going to be testing the low low. I would sell right at the 3180 level and put a buy stop at the $36 level. That's Vornado Realty Trust. As you could see here, even when the market rallied, what did this do? nothing that means it's going to hard be hard for this position to go against you next one is equity residential eqr okay and as you could see here as well it's breaking the low and i think it can go lower so we got and i would sell right at the current level maybe just a tad lower and put a buy stop not a sell stop a buy stop right at the 55 ish level so i would i would bet about five bucks and the odds are the shares are going to go substantially lower and break the bottom. I think we're going to have a shakeout, which means we're going to see a lot of volatility, a lot of panic selling, and then the momentum levels will come, will peak out, peter out right around here, and we'll start heading higher once again. But I think as far as momentum levels in the short term, we are getting there. We're kind of close to the bottom, but I think we need to hit the 200-day moving average. So as of right now, I would still stay bearish and limit your exposure. Remember what I told you guys a few months back? Tech is gonna take a dive. Industrial and, and materials are gonna lead. Defensive stocks are gonna lead. Momentum levels are overbought. I even drew this circle for you here. And I told you to sell REITs. And right now I'm giving you two, VNO and EQR. Now, don't go anywhere. I've got something really important for you. The stock market, it's been pulling back hard lately. That's what I've been talking about the last few minutes. But luckily for you, I've come across a trading strategy that could bring you some calm during these market storms. It's called Trophy Trades. And over the course of 20 years, the man behind this market-proof strategy has won 206 out of his 213 trades. Can you imagine taking 213 trades and 206 of them are winners? That's a 97% win rate. Just this past month, just this past month, you could have earned massive winners from his trades. If you purchase two $4.50 options on DocuSign, $900 investment, you could have made $15,340. $900 into $15,350. You're not going to want to miss out on this next trophy trade, and it's coming down the pipe soon. Click on the link below to see how you can access it now. 97% accuracy. All right. I think $56,000 a month over the last 20 years, $13.5 million in profits. This man is a true 10 times trading champion. Trophy Trades. Check it out now. Follow the link below. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.